Here we're going to assemble the bottom cap. We've let this dry for 24 hours. We're going to assemble the bottom cap to the body. And it's just as simple as screwing them together. You get them together, just hand tighten them. If you want, you can put a strap wrench and on both pieces take a couple of strap wrenches. Or if you want to use channel locks, that's okay. Of course, channel locks will mar the aluminum, but it doesn't have any impact on the operation of the probe. So the, how you handle this is your decision. Once you've put this together, see if we can get a good view inside here. You'll notice on the printed circuit board, I'm going to show you a bare printed circuit board instead of trying to get you get a shot down inside. On a bare printed circuit board, there are four grooves. Three of the grooves are between the holes where we have soldered the, ball, the balls. Then there's the fourth groove that is midway between one, one pair of balls and another pair of balls. What we want to do is we want to mark on the body in relation to this groove that does not have any balls soldered around it. And the way I do this is just with a felt tip marker and I view down into the body and I visually pick a point that is about midway between this groove, this center groove, and the grooves on each side. I'm going to get two points, one midway here and one midway here. So, I'm looking down in here and I'm looking I'm looking at the groove here. And I'm going to sight down in there and pick up a point midway between the groove on each side and the balls on each side. So stand by while I do that. Okay, I forgot to mention that I do that. I just make the mark on the rim here, and that way the mark is covered up when the probe is totally assembled because I'm actually using a permanent marker Sharpie there. And if you can see, let's see if we can get a video. Uh, Okay, I think in that shot you can see that the marks that I have made, the two little black dots, are about midway between the groove and the balls on each side of it. This one's not quite midway, but it it is not critical. The positioning of this is not critical at all.
Now what we're going to do is using our drills Sorry, I'm having a trouble picking up the drills. We're going to drill two holes. The holes will be approximately five eighths of an inch from this surface. This is the open end of the probe at this point. We've got the bottom cap screwed in here and from this surface into the body of the probe we want to measure approximately 5 eighths of an inch. Then lined up with these dots 5 eighths of an inch down using the center drill to of course first get the hole started then use the number 35 drill or whatever size you've chosen as a pilot drill pilot drill the two holes again it's a hole that is in line with this dot 5 eighths of an inch into the body at this point so it would be drilled right about here and then again 5 eighths in, in and aligned with this dot and it would be drilled right about there. Uh, you'll see this better after we've actually completed the drilling. Then, once you've pilot drilled, the smaller of your number 31 and 29 drills, and if you reverse happen to reverse these, it is not the end of the world, so don't, don't panic. But what you want to do is the number... 31 drill, the smaller of the drills, you want to drill in this position. Um, I guess the best way to describe it is if you were to hold looking into the probe body at that slot and calling the slot 12 o'clock at the 1 o'clock position you want to drill the smaller hole the number 31 and at the larger or at the 11 o'clock position you want to drill the larger hole the number 29 the smaller one will be for the LED the larger one will be for the cable so again, looking down from this point, this is the groove that we're talking about. This will be the smaller hole, the number 31 for the LED. This will be the larger hole, the number 29 for the cable. Okay. I don't I obviously don't know what equipment you have in your shop this could be done by a hand, with a hand drill um, I'm not sure I'd be particularly anxious to try it that way it's not particularly important that the holes be highly perpendicular to the uh, tangent point where they're drilled uh, but the closer to perpendicular they are the better the appearance of the probe will turn out but use whatever mechanism you have available to you to drill these two holes so we're going to take a break I'm going to go to our shop and actually drill the holes and be back in a few